What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to be discussing NMN, which stands for nicotinamide mononucleotide. It is a NAD precursor molecule and an anti-aging supplement. Anti-aging is becoming widely popular and much more researched than it has been over the past decade. So this video is going to cover the benefits of consuming an anti-aging supplement like NMN. And I'm going to give you an example of one I've been trying recently. So let's get into it. when you're young, you have high levels of NAD in your body already naturally. It's naturally occurring. But when you age, you start to lose NAD, the levels begin to decline. And this is obviously not ideal because NAD is required for energy production in the body, in the brain, in the immune cells, and in the muscle tissues. And when you have age-associated decline in NAD levels, that means that you could potentially have increased levels of inflammation in your body, and you might have increased immune activation. So for example, I'm in my mid 30s and my NAD levels have declined since I've been in my early to mid 20s, but I'm obviously not as far along as being in my 40s, 50s, 60s, which the NAD levels would have significantly declined by then. But I want to nip this in the bud early and make sure that I'm taking an NAD precursor molecule such as NMN, which basically supports the production of NAD within the body. So for the past few weeks, I've been taking an NMN supplement from Infinite Age, which you can see right here. And I will include the links to this in the description below as well if you're interested in checking it out. And I will put a coupon code down there for you as well, which I always do. So this supplement is allowing me to maintain higher levels of NAD and slow the age-related decline of NAD within my body. And there are increasingly more studies supporting the effectiveness of taking an NMN or NAD precursor molecule supplement relating to anti-aging. Most of the studies so far have been relating to animal trials and specifically with mice. Not too many human trials have been done thus far. High dose animal studies with mice have been shown to improve the way multiple tissues and cell types age within the body, such as the heart, the skeletal muscle, the brain tissues, and the stem cells. Again, this hasn't been confirmed in human trials, but I do see a lot of people consuming this supplement and reporting pretty good benefits so far. I've also been studying the research of Dr. Rhonda Patrick and David Sinclair out of Harvard University, who are both heavily involved in the anti-aging process and research around that, and they speak much on NAD and NMN as a precursor molecule. So if you're interested in checking out their videos, I've included the links in the description below where they elaborate a little bit more on what exactly NAD is and how it's associated with NMN in particular. By taking a supplement like NMN or any other NAD precursor molecule, one may slow the aging process by activating sirtuins, which are naturally occurring proteins present in the body and they function as anti-aging genes. One of the main reasons I've been taking NMN, aside from the fact that I'm interested in health longevity, I can't necessarily prove the longevity aspect or the success of the supplement in terms of that because I obviously won't know until I am older and reaching the point of becoming ill and dying and maybe this supplement might help me. So it's very hard to report the immediate benefits of something like this. However, some of the short-term benefits include increased in athletic performance, which I'm really interested in because I obviously train and do a lot of fitness related stuff. So athletics and endurance is something that I've been attentive to while taking the supplement to see if there's been any improvements there. And generally speaking, I have noticed some, but you know, it could also relate to improved sleep patterns because I've really been focusing a lot on my sleep. One thing to note is if you don't have the best sleep, if you basically are lacking in sleep, you're sleep deprived, you may not be recovering fully from a good night's sleep. So if you do have some form of sleep apnea, it may be worth considering trying an NMN supplement to assist with cell damage relating to lack of sleep. You can get trace amounts of NMN in certain food, however, it's a very low dose, and I'm gonna put some numbers up on the screen here so you can see them. They don't anywhere compare with if you are taking an NMN supplement because you're obviously gonna get more bang for your buck in terms of NAD precursors from the supplement when compared with food. But that's not to say you shouldn't have the NMN supported foods because that's just great in terms of overall nutritious diet. So I definitely suggest you consider incorporating some NMN supported foods into your diet if you aren't already doing so. Something else that's super important to note and a big factor for the reason why I've begun taking NAD precursor molecule supplements and longevity supplements is because I'm interested in overall brain health. And by increasing levels of NAD in the brain, one can actually slow down or even prevent certain mental diseases such as Alzheimer's. They can even improve memory and just overall cognitive function. I'm a huge proponent of improving cognitive function and anything that does that, I always recommend trying it out, see if it works for you. Some of these things, it's very particular to the individual. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative, entertaining, and if you're gonna try some NMN supplements or another NAD precursor molecule, hit this video with a thumbs up, or just comment down below and tell me what supplement you have tried or you're considering trying, or if you're actually gonna go and check out Infinite Ages NMN, feel free to do so. Again, the link is in the description below. 
and I've included the coupon code down there for you if you want to try out this particular one and see if it works for you. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. I'll see you in that next one. Take care.